Proud to say another one of my kids. Uh, last week we had Elijah Halterman that shadowed uh, us here in the city and learned a lot about the government. Uh, this young man just completed his master's degree at VCU, uh, received his uh, degrees this past Saturday. Uh, he is on his way to uh, the uh, wonderful city of Charlottesville to work with their regional commission. And uh, maybe someday he'll get to come back towards Roanoke and work for our regional commission and uh, help guide Covington. Uh, during his presentation a few weeks ago to his uh, professors and myself and of course his family, uh, absolutely wonderful presentation. Uh, the nice thing was one of his professors snuck up to Covington just to see before he did his presentation. Uh, uniquely as we are here in the Allegheny Highlands, a lot of what Tucker presented in his presentations are indeed some things that we're working on. For example, pocket parks in downtown, the creation of additional green space, uh, the needs for restaurants, and some other things that he pointed out that the city is uh, pushing forward and doing some good things in, in that direction. So, won't hold Tucker up any longer, uh, but I do want to welcome him to Covington and thank him for his work working with Alan Dressler and the city folks with his presentation tonight. Yeah, thank you, Alan, for that great introduction and thank you, Council, for having me tonight. So, uh, like I said, I just got my master's at VCU um, in urban and regional planning and Part of the program is you have to work with a client either in the private or public sector on a, you know, a plan or project that the client wants or needs help with. And so I called Alan and he was ecstatic to work with me and we came up with the idea of working on a downtown revitalization plan for Covington. So I see my title, my plan is Growth in Appalachia, Downtown Revitalization in Covington, Virginia. And the purpose of this plan, it's a uh, Plan identifies downtown revitalization strategies for the city of Covington, Virginia. Strategies are determined by understanding the needs and desires of community and business members, as well as analyzing market data for measuring business analysis. Um, so just kind of the approach going to a lot of these strategies and recommendations, goals, things that I'll present later, um, was one, the Main Street America um, program, which I know Covington has been exploring further. Um, just the four prongs of Main Street is economic vitality, design, organization, promotion. And the other approach was an environmental protection agency report, putting smart growth to work in rural communities. And the three prongs of that is um, keeping rural character, helping existing places thrive, and creating great new places. Um, just a background, uh, the study area obviously is downtown Covington. There was uh, 129 structures in the study area, mostly just commercial buildings that don't worry about housing or things like that, but more business and retail, commercial and things of that sort. Um, going to that, one of the biggest problems with Covington is there's a lot of vacancies. Um, almost uh, from what I've studied and information given from the city and just walking downtown, almost fourth of downtown is vacant and that can be a real detrimental to the city as people you know aren't enticed to come downtown it feels empty and there's lack of foot traffic which means less you know money coming in less people less things happening um, additional a lot of downtown is also occupied by personal services or occasional uses so uses that you know people only use once or twice a month so that kind of decreases people from coming downtown a lot as well whereas you know things like retail and restaurants and entertainment more, get people more downtown more frequently and brings more dollars more people and more you know things into the city um, so with my findings, I uh, surveyed um, community members and also used data from Main Street America to talk to about almost 300 residents. And these findings helped me um, kind of lay the groundwork for the recommendations I'll present later. So one big thing is that um, people have been a member of these community uh, for more than 10 years, almost 83% of the time, which is great to hear because that means people are living in the area, they're more invested and they'll be more, you know, um, encourage for revitalization seeing some place that they're invested in and two um, people visit downtown pretty frequently uh, about 48 percent visit monthly and another 33 percent visit daily so that means people are coming through downtown it's just how to get people to stay in downtown longer you know spend more money hang out go to more businesses and things like that to get more you know activity in the core um, other findings um, the top Three falling issues were the biggest for people in downtown was too many vacant storefronts, lack of businesses suited to them, and um, buildings were neglected or need repair, so you know, damaged facades and things like that. 
Um, and three types of businesses that people would like to see in downtown were the biggest were restaurants, apparel and services, and entertainment. People, which is a um, big thing that drives people into downtown and gets them to stay in downtown. Um, other things, people prefer to shop on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which makes sense as people have the weekend off. Um, but a large majority of people like to shop on Saturdays, which is 54%. And also a lot of people like, would prefer to shop um, after 5 p.m. Also people shop during 1, 1 to 3 p.m. and 11 to 1 p.m. with 22% for both of those. And after 5 being 32%. Big thing is a lot of shops do close before 5 p.m. So it's kind of hard for people who do want to shop after 5 p.m. to come downtown and shop and stay in downtown. Um, also, I talked to a number of businesses, and the biggest findings from the businesses were um, they felt there was a lack of parking for customers, especially for elderly citizens. They felt that they needed more spots right in front of their business, so you know, more senior citizens and the elderly had easier access to their businesses, and also they felt a lot of businesses would take the parking on the main street and things like that, so that would deter people from going downtown. They also just wished to be more involved with events and promotion and things like that from downtown, so Anytime things are happening, they'd just like to be involved, and they just want people to know that they're there. And they, and they also enjoyed when more restaurants and retail and things like that came to downtown, because I mean, more people are coming downtown, which means more foot traffic past their businesses, and then potentially more customers and things like that. Um, also, doing a market analysis using um, different drive areas of five minutes, 15 minutes, and 20 minutes, and using the top three um, categories that um, individuals desire to see in Covington, apparel services, food, and entertainment, recreation, using a projected demand spending from 2028. As you can see, those three services have a plus in spending, so meaning that if people were to potentially open a business in one of these sectors, they would have, they could see profits as people are desiring to have these things in each of those drive time areas, which five minute is mainly just Covington, the um, 15 minute is kind of, um, parts of the county and then um, the 20 minute is the full county reaching into parts of um, West Virginia as well. Um, so my recommendations, I had three main recommendations. Um, the first were enhance downtown and those were <laughs> fall into goals one through four. Recommendation two is create strength and anchor institutions for the city of Covington and those are goals five through seven. And recommendation three is create downtown Covington into a tourist destination which those are goals eight and nine. Um, so goal one is uh, encourage the creation of new businesses downtown. So um, one of the biggest objectives is just inventory of the current businesses in downtown. So creating comprehensive in inventory so Covington knows what businesses they have of, what they may have a surplus of, what they might have a deficiency of, and therefore you can go for seeing what type of businesses you might want to attract to the core. Another two is just um, encourage the creation of more retail businesses in downtown, as we know there's a lack of retail downtown. So creating different incentive, incentives for more retail businesses, encouraging maybe occasional uses and personal service to move to the periphery of downtown if they're looking to relocation or new ones coming to downtown. And also, you know, with a lease of property owners, maybe create a pop-up shop in vacant property. So if somebody wants to try out a business or wants to try out something without the full commitment of, you know, buying a building or renting, they can try it out for a couple months and see if it's successful. Um, and also, same thing, support new restaurants downtown, and same thing, create new incentives for restaurants downtown to create more foot traffic and more people come downtown. Um, goal two is increase foot traffic in downtown. Um, so just create more opportunities for people to visit downtown. So continue with events. Alan does a great job with the many events that happen in Covington. So maybe just have, try to have more events located in downtown so more people come downtown are more familiar. Also, maybe create a, a special event unique to Covington, such as Ashland has a train day that happens once a year, and hundreds of people come by to see the trains go right through downtown. And uh, Highland County has their Maple Festival in March on the weekend, and hundreds of people come up there to go around the Maple Farms around the county and explore Monterey and things like that. Also, provide events and groups for younger generations. Many people I talked to wish there was more things for younger people to do downtown. So. It also gets more people, younger people involved in downtown younger, so they'll see it as a place they can go when they get older and things like that. And also just send out a weekly newsletter, whether that be Facebook or an, a mail-in mail -in system or email or social media, anything like that, just to keep people updated with what's happening in downtown. And also just promote already established businesses, so have a monthly or bi-monthly business spotlight for downtown, um, for downtown businesses, and also purchase ads and regional publications. Big one could be Cardinal News as it does a lot in Southwest Virginia, so it gets people more interested in maybe businesses they'd like to see in Covington. Um, continuing goal two is beautify downtown, so work on streetscaping, greenery, public art, 
things like that as Maple Street had a streetscaping that looks very good and that's definitely um, a plus for people who makes a more pleasant walk down Maple and other streets like that. Um, parking management going off what businesses said with uh, you know um, lack of parking so encourage businesses maybe to have their employees park towards the periphery of downtown and um, so that way that opens up more spots on Main Street and Maple and things like that. Um, parking time limits and have special spots just for senior citizens and uh, and enforcement either by the local police or hire a parking manager. Mm -hmm.